The deadlift is an enormously important strength exercise for mixed martial arts. It works the entire body, the posture, the back, the entire posterior chain, the grip, everything is needed for the deadlift. And so when you're training the deadlift, you're training the ability to pick up a heavy weight from the ground. Uh, and it's very useful in mimicking things like throws and picking someone up off the ground. To perform the deadlift, you will walk up close to the bar with a natural standing posture. Then you will push back into your hips until your hands touch the bar. If your hands do not touch the bar with straight legs, you can bend your legs until you touch. Then you will lean back into your heels, drive through your heels, and squeeze your butt to push your hips forward. Put the bar down by pushing your hips back, which will put the bar in a straight line down on the ground. The barbell squat will develop massive core strength and the ability to drive the most amount of force through the legs of just about any other exercise that you can possibly do. Assume a natural standing posture, push back into your hips, your knees will break shortly after that, and then you will sit back like you were trying to sit back onto a chair, not put your butt down, so your butt will go back. To stand up, you will drive through the mid part of the foot. Focus on driving your knees out at all times as that's going to help activate the outside of the glute and make sure that you're not falling in at the knees, which can cause damage to the inside of the knee. The front squat is an important variation of the barbell squat as it will train the core to a higher degree and it will mimic more types of movements that you would actually run into in a mixed martial arts match. When performing this squat, you will try to keep the torso as relatively vertical as possible. You're going to push back into the hips just like you would for a, uh, for a barbell squat. And you're trying to keep the elbows high so that the bar does not pull you forward. If the elbows fall down while holding the bar, it's going to pull your torso forward and it's going to make you want to put the bar down. Really focus on pulling those shoulder blades back and keeping those elbows up. You're going to feel like the bar is slightly choking you, which is... Uh, Good practice for when you actually get in the cage. The overhead squat is going to be absolutely great for your balance, mobility, and fixing areas of your squat that might have issues. It's sort of like putting a magnifying glass on your squat form. Uh, so if you have trouble with your shoulder mobility, or your hip mobility, or anything like that, the overhead squat is a good way to try to figure out what those issues are and work up to fixing them. This is not about pure strength so much as it is about mobility, balance, and core stability. And all three of those attributes are enormously important when thinking about mixed martial arts training. Some key points here are elbow pits up, armpits forward, and making sure that your torso is as vertical as possible. The front rack barbell walking lunge is enormously important for mixed martial arts as it is going to help build the core strength and single leg strength for movements such as driving in for a shot to take someone down or picking someone up uh, and stepping forward. Just like the front squat, you want to try to keep the elbows high for holding the bar and as you step forward you are going to have the front and back leg in 90 degree angles. For the bench press, we're going to keep our hands just outside our shoulders. We're going to grab that bar and act like we're going to bend it, so that's going to take the elbows in for us. We're going to drive through the feet, and as we do that, we're going to squeeze the butt and keep those elbows in tight. Your butt and shoulder blades will be in contact with the bench, so you will have a slight arch to your back the entire time you are doing this movement. One thing I want you guys to think about is keeping the forearms vertical the entire time. For the barbell overhead press, once again, we are thinking in elbows in tight, forearms vertical, and we are driving up and back over the shoulder. Maintain good posture the entire time. You don't want to be leaning back, and you also don't want to be winging your elbows out. Keep those in nice and tight. For the pull-ups, we're going to have the hands just outside the shoulders, and much like the bench press, we're going to act like we're trying to bend that bar when we grab onto it to keep those elbows in. We're going to pull through the elbows, so it's really going to activate those lats for us. We don't want to think about our hands moving because that's going to be more bicep. Really use those lats because those are the muscles that are going to help us pull as strongly as possible. For the barbell row, we are bent over, and we want a nice flat back here. We do not want any rounding of the spine. We want to make sure that we stand up all the way and then push back into the hips. We'll pull through the elbows here just like we did for the pull-up, but this time we are pulling perpendicular to our bodies. The Turkish get-up is a full body strength maneuver that is good for balance, 
coordination, and core strength. It uses the same kind of technical getup that you would use during a fight or a jiu-jitsu match. And as you can see, as we're posted with our left hand, we're gonna use our right foot to post, and we're going to drive through that till we have our whole body lifted off the ground, pull the other leg through until we're in a lunge position, and then stand up by driving through the heel. And we'll reverse the position, lunge, hand down, foot back through, other foot out, elbow, shoulders. And watch that again on the other side. So we're going to elbow, post, hand. We're going to take that, other side, lift, pull the leg through. You can see that. I'm going to shift to that lunge position, drive through, and stand up. Then we go back to the lunge, hand down, foot out, elbow, back. There you go, all the way down. On this, you want to remember to train both sides. That is very important. For mixed martial arts, strength training is going to be a secondary to all of your technical work. So it should not replace your boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, or jujitsu work. For a very simple program, I'm going to recommend on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday that you do one upper and one lower body exercise. These exercises should be done in this fashion, beginning with three warm-up sets at 40%, 55%, and 70% of your one rep max, all for three reps. So that's three sets of three at 40, 55, and 70% of your one RM. Then after that, I want you to do three to five reps at 80% of your one rep max, two to three reps at 85% of your one rep max, one to two reps at 90% of your one rep max, and then one rep at 90 to 95% of your one rep max. For the earlier sets, you're going to rest about 60 to 90 seconds, but then for the later sets, you're going to rest for about two minutes. For each one of these rep ranges, every time you are able to hit the high number, for instance, at the three to five at 80%, two to three at 85%, or one to two at 90%, if you can hit that higher number, I want you to try to go up two and a half to five pounds, depending on what the exercise is. That same thing goes for the one at 90 to 95%. So the initial percentages won't stay in relation to one another because they'll be growing at their own rates. However, at the end of 12 weeks of training, go ahead and retest your one rep max and start over. It's going to take you a long time to build real strength doing this, but once again, your sport takes precedence to everything else. So spend time doing your skill work, your conditioning, and your cardio because that is the more important of the attributes. Strength is still important, but we wanna make sure that we give it the appropriate amount of attention and not try to train like bodybuilders or powerlifters when that is not your sport.